1992, Pepsi ran a contest in the Philippines that ended up killing five people. The contest was called Number Fever, and the idea was simple. Every evening, the news would reveal a winning number. Tomorrow's winning number is 373. And if you had a Pepsi bottle cap with that number, you won a million pesos. Now, a million pesos in 1992 was life-changing for the average Filipino. So this contest became very popular. Will you be the next millionaire? Families would stockpile Pepsi bottle caps in their homes. Many people would root through dumpsters trying to find winning caps. According to Pepsi, half of the country's population was actively participating in the contest. And it was because of this popularity that Pepsi decided to extend Number Fever for an additional five weeks. And this is where things went terribly wrong. You see, throughout the contest, Pepsi was in complete control of how many winners there were. They relied on a computer program to seed two winning caps into bottling plants. Two winning caps meant that there could only be two winners, and Pepsi would stay within their budget. But something went wrong after they extended the contest. The computer program glitched, causing some numbers to be mixed up. And on May 25th, 1992, at 6 p.m., the Channel 2 Evening News called the winning number 349. And while there were only supposed to be two winners, hundreds of thousands of Filipinos began to celebrate. You see, 349 was already designated as a non-winning number. And because of this, bottling plants were free to print that number as much as they wanted. This resulted in over 600,000 349 caps circulating in the Philippines. Hundreds of people rushed the Pepsi factory with their winning caps. It soon had to be shut down and guarded by police. The company quickly realized that they had messed up big time. Pepsi executives had a meeting in the middle of the night to try and come up with a solution. So instead, they put the blame on the computer and offered 500 pesos for each winning cap. Most refused and became even more angry, and violent protests and riots broke out, ultimately leaving five people dead and dozens injured. 349 winners stormed the Pepsi factories, throwing Molotov cocktails into the windows and bombing Pepsi trucks that drove by. Over the next year, the angry mob took a more organized approach to fight Pepsi. Coalition 349 was a group of winners that took legal action against the company. They elected a local preacher named Del Fierro as their leader. He rounded up over 800 349 winners in an attempt to sue Pepsi for over $400 million. 